I'm uh, Eric Sverberg and I'm a senior staff officer at the National Academies. I'm working for the Board of uh, Manufacturing and Materials and uh, there we do various studies and this uh, study that goes under the working name uh, Harnessing Light 2 is one of those where I'm the study director for. Hello, I'm Larry Goldberg. I'm Senior Engineering Advisor at the National Science Foundation. Uh, I've been involved uh, at NSF in the funding of this uh, study with the National Academies, uh, with the NSF agency, together with Department of Energy, DARPA, NIST, uh, U.S. Army. Uh, the um, study Nash that the National Academies is carrying out is really a uh, second phase uh, that dates back to the original study of harnessing light that was released in 1998, studying optical science and technology uh, status and opportunities. And with the time that has uh, progressed uh, with advances in optical science and technology, we are interested to uh, reassess the status of the field. And in this case, particularly to look at the opportunities in technology areas. The study was commissioned for an 18 month period and uh, that portion has been completed. Uh, now the next phases are in the National Academy's procedure of review of the study with uh, experts in the field and editing and we're hoping for release perhaps in the time frame of May of this year. The goal with a, a study like this is, of course, to answer the statement of task, which uh, was worked out with, uh, with the sponsors and uh, pretty much the academies, the board and, 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 and so on. And uh, if, if the statement of task can be answered, then um, I think that uh, uh, the academies uh, has fulfilled the mission as, as the agencies that, that have sort of uh, sponsored the study would like to have it. If we would look at sort of like a best case scenario, then we would of course hope that the, uh, the recommendations that the study has would be acted upon. I think that would be the, the sort of ideal uh, outcome from a study like this. Uh, the statement of task uh, uh, contains sort of the, the marching orders for the committee pretty much and uh, a, a little bit simplified. It's uh, uh, looking at uh, what has happened in the, in the last years since the, the previous study that you mentioned, Harnessing Light, that came out in uh, 1998. Uh, it's also looking at the technological opportunities that uh, has arisen since that study and also sort of where the state, um, the state of the art is right now in, uh, both, both in the U.S. but also sort of in comparison to other countries and uh, a little bit like uh, towards the economical aspects and the technology and not as much in the, in the science sense. Um, I would also say that the, the, the committee, one of the tasks they have is to look at a, a set of grand challenge questions that uh, will sort of help guide the community in the, in the future and also, of course, try to answer uh, who should be the, the agents of change and what are the recommended actions to take to, to move forward in the sense of uh, 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 having optics and photonics be uh, an area where the U.S. can be a leader and uh, where the U.S. economy can, uh, and the people can benefit. The study is the first phase of the activity. Once that study is released, the really important work is how to disseminate it and bring attention to it to the wider community of stakeholders, which can include Congress, the various agencies where uh, optics and photonics has a role, uh, clearly to the academic community, but importantly also to industry. And in order to uh, enable uh, effective dissemination, the professional societies are taking an important lead role. I, I think, of course, uh, I hope that uh, a lot of them will, will uh, look at the report, read it, uh, maybe uh, pick particular portions that uh, are near and dear to their own uh, research and, and, and so on. And I hope that they would be able to uh, uh, spread the word, look at it and think about the, the conclusions and recommendations that the committee will come up with and um, hopefully uh, be able to spread the awareness. Um, and uh, I think through that, uh, hopefully a lot of the recommendations uh, could be acted upon. The 
current uh, climate in this country is one that is looking towards economic growth and that relies to a great degree on innovation. And we're interested in seeing where optics can play an important role in helping the country to develop new technologies, new manufacturing opportunities to make it more competitive in this field. Optics and photonics, um, when you look at it, uh, it's uh, in a lot of places. And uh, I think that not everyone is, is aware of, of, of how their life and, and so on has been affected by, by um, all the, the developments that have happened in that area recently.